Whether you love them or hate them, there's no denying microwave ovens are super convenient. They can heat food like this much more quickly than a conventional oven, although not always with the same results. But how do they, you know, how do they work, right? Yeah, 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 microwaves, sure, microwaves, great. But what the heck are those? That's a good question. Microwaves are a type of wave on the electromagnetic spectrum, and they're kind of sandwiched, sandwiched, uh, between radio waves and infrared radiation. In the case of microwave ovens, the most common wave frequency is roughly 2,450 megahertz. Waves in this frequency range have an interesting property. They're absorbed by water, fats, and sugars. And once they're absorbed, they're converted directly into atomic motion, heat. These waves have another convenient property though. They are not absorbed by most plastics, glass, or ceramics. Metal, however, does reflect microwaves, which is why it's a bad idea to leave a spoon in your cheese dip when the microwave oven's on. Not that any of us have done that. You'll often hear people say microwave ovens cook from the inside out, right? That's the key to the speed. Well, think about it like this. Let's say you're baking a cake in a conventional oven. Normally, you'd bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or so, but this time you accidentally set that bad boy for 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The outside of the cake is gonna burn before the inside even gets warm, and you will have ruined somebody's birthday. In a conventional oven, the heat has to migrate by conduction from the outside of the food toward the middle. Hot, dry air on the outside evaporates moisture so the outside can be crispy and brown, you know, like the crust on bread, while the inside is still moist. In microwave cooking, though, the radio waves penetrate the food and excite the water and fat molecules more or less evenly throughout. No heat has to migrate toward the interior by conduction. There's heat everywhere, all at once, because the molecules are all excited together. There are limits, though. Uh, microwaves penetrate unevenly in thick pieces of food. That means they don't make it all the way to the middle, basically. And there are also hot spots caused by wave interference, but you get the idea. The heating process is different because you are exciting atoms rather than conducting heat. Inside a microwave oven, the air is at room temperature, so there's no way to form a crust. That's why microwavable pastries, or hot pockets, sometimes come with this, this little sleeve thing made out of foil and cardboard. The sleeve reacts to the microwave energy by becoming very hot. This exterior heat lets the crust become as crispy as it would in a conventional oven. So that's it. That's the secret behind microwaves. Thanks to our producer, Paul, for letting me eat this hot pocket while we're recording. Well, Enough about me. What do you think about microwaves? Let me know in the comments. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know what other gadgets you'd like me to cover in upcoming episodes. And check out our website, howstuffworks.com, for more information. And subscribe so you don't miss a moment of brain stuff.